All right, guys, I want to make this quick video to show you how to install the app on an Amazon Fire Stick. First thing you want to do is plug up your Fire Stick. Go ahead and log into your account. Once you get this screen, you want to come over to settings. You want to come down over to device and you want to go into developer options. Once you go to developer options, go ahead and turn on ADB debugging and go ahead and turn on uh, apps from unknown sources. OK, once you do that, go ahead and back out to the main screen. Then you are going to go over to the magnifying glass, which is search, and you're going to search for this app. It's called Downloader. So let's go D O W N. And once you get to uh, you putting the L in, it should already pop out at the bottom, which you can see right here. The third option is Downloader app. Go ahead and select it. Go ahead and go down to Downloader, which is right here. Go ahead and select it again. Then you want to go ahead and click on the uh, Get button right there. Go ahead and select it, and it's going to say Processing and it's going to say queue. For some reason, if you get an error message, uh, it'll give you a link. You have to go to that link and put a, a, a credit card into Amazon. Uh, for some reason, they want you to have a credit card on file. Even though it's a free app, it's not going to charge you. Um, so if you do get that message, you may have to do that. So after you do that, go ahead and click on open. All right, we'll give it a second to come up. Go ahead and click OK. Then you're going to come over here to where it says HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, and you're going to type this in. It's going to be Vaders. All right, so let's do Vaders, V-A-D-E-R-S dot TV. And then you're going to do forward slash. Then you're going to go back to the letters, and you're going to type in Vaders. dot apk okay so http colon forward slash forward slash v a d e r s dot tv forward slash v a d e r s dot apk and then go ahead and click on go and give it a second and it's going to start downloading all right shouldn't take too long it's not too big of a file once you see this, go ahead and click down a couple of times. And you're going to see the, the uh, gray highlight uh, cancel. Move over to the right and go to install. Click on it. All right. We'll give this a few seconds. Okay. So once you're through, you can go ahead and just open it up. All right. So we click open. It's going to launch. Then right here on username, you're going to put the username and the password that was emailed to you. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine in. I'm going to, of course, block it out so nobody can get to it. All right. Now I'm going to do the password. Okay, so everybody should have theirs. So once you put it in, just click down a couple times and go to login and click on it, and it's going to log you right in. All right, so now you're going to see you have all these different sections. You're going to come over to settings first. We want to make sure that it or use all available sources. You can go ahead and click on it to turn it off. And also, you can go into enable categories and you can go ahead and select only the categories that you want to come up instead of having them all on there, okay? So right here, you can go into the live TV section and it's going to load up United States by default. All the channels will come over here over to the uh, right hand side and then you can click on any channel you want and it'll come right on. All right. Just hit back and it'll take you back to this screen. You got your guide. You got TV catch up. So if you miss an, a show, you can come in here and watch the uh, replay. Then you have Match Center where you're going to have all your sports and pay-per-view and then video on demand. All right, guys, if you have any questions or problems, just let me know. Thanks. Bye.